JJ, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Codingface.com. Your boy's back and I done did it again. Listen, guys. Yo, today's topic is if I had to take another job, what would be my dream job? What would be my dream job as a developer? Right? My dream job would be working remote, right? I think nobody likes going to work. It doesn't matter if you love your job. It doesn't matter what it is. Nobody likes the idea of having to go somewhere else besides your house um, and stay there for eight, nine, ten hours in a day away from your family. Nobody likes that. Trust me. Even if you love coding, nobody likes going away. <laughs> All right. That's one. Number two. It would be a cool language, I don't know, something like Crystal Lang or Ruby on Rails. Crystal Lang or, or Ruby. Like, I really love Ruby. Um, I mean, it's dying out. I could say now it's dying out, Ruby, but um, yeah, I really love Ruby. It's like, it's simple, it's easy. I love how it looks. It's object oriented programming. Uh, yeah, it's an amazing language and I love it. And now I love Crystal Lang. <laughs> uh, let me see what else. You know, it has to be earning at least 100000 a year. Uh, what else? It has to be with a cool team, guys who are smarter than me. I hate working with people that. I mean, not that I hate it, but I do enjoy when I'm not the smartest person in the room because then that means I get to learn instead of me teaching. Like, and it's fine to teach, but at the same time, if I want to be selfish, hey, I want to learn. <laughs> I don't want to be always the one teaching. I want to learn from somebody else, so, you know what I mean? So, that's definitely one of those requirements for dream jobs you know working with people that know way more than me so like that I could learn I could step my game up and yeah what else um, working on a cool project you know the worst thing is when you're working on on old technology guys man I really hate that I hate when I'm working on old technology like an old framework or old programming language or like let's say you just like fixing old code legacy code and you're like man I want to create new stuff you know like that's what makes you happy well that's what makes me happy when it comes to work creating new stuff but let's see man well yeah man so that's definitely the the things that I wish I had for you know for a dream job those are like my requirements you know definitely remote working with cool people working with something like Ruby or Crystal Lang and working with really smart people people that I can learn from that's definitely my requirements but yeah, man, this video is supposed to be a little bit short. I'm not going to talk too much. I want to stay in topic. And yeah, just leave your comments. I want to know exactly what would be your dream job. Right? I want to know what would be your dream job. And leave a comment so I could know and everybody here could know. Maybe I, I want to know exactly what you guys are, are looking for. You know? All right? So I'll see you guys later. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video, make sure you check out my website codingface.com if you're looking to become a web developer, check out the links below on my description, I have the best courses there, I have my courses which I break down everything in you know pretty easy terms, and then you have the best courses on Udemy, right there on my description, alright, I'll see you guys later, bow!
know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Listen, make sure you subscribe and make sure you like this video, man. By the way, if you want to know exactly what courses I took to become a web developer, they're right there in the description. It's no secret. It's nothing crazy. It's no secret gift that I had. It's just pretty much I took the courses. They're pretty cheap. They're like $15 each on specials. And just listen, man. Change your life. Change your lifestyle. Do something fun and something cool that you could call a career. Bow.